Hey guys, it's me and as more. So today I'm going to show you how I like to do my favorite low manipulation hairstyle, which is the high puff. Um, so this is her wig cap and she's been wearing a high puff for a couple of days now. So sorry, Bupa. So as you can see at night, it just comes out of the high puff so that it's not pulling on her hair. And we go ahead and do the same exact style the next day. So this is a very easy hairstyle to do. Um, I like this hairstyle when I'm taking breaks away from um, cornrows and things like that. Because it allows her hair to just do whatever, do what it's naturally supposed to do. Okay. So first I like to begin by adding some oils to her hair. I'm just going to add a little bit to the ends. So, you want to make sure when you are doing hairstyles like this, you are keeping the hair moisturized. And when I do this hairstyle, I do not comb it at all. Um, I don't comb it because it doesn't really need to be combed in this hairstyle. Um, and I began by refreshing her hair, adding the, just a little bit of spritz of my water glycerin and jehovah oil you mix now the reason why i don't add a spray bottle like a regular spray bottle is because it will cause the hair to shrink and frizz up and this is just a little mist so it just adds just the necessary amount of um, moisture that it needs so next i add some of my everything butter and I like to put a lot of this in her hair because I want to make sure it is very, very moisturized. So as you can see, I'm going to rub that in my hands. And I am going to add it into the hair. And I'm very gentle. You want to be very gentle when you're doing this. Sometimes it can hurt if your child has a lot of hair. But just be patient. Very, very patient. And just be very, very gentle. So next, I'm adding my Maury's Edge Wax. And what this is going to do is it's going to help slick down the front of her hair. And this hairstyle doesn't have to be perfect because I promise you by the end of the day, it's not going to look perfect. Um, she's on her way to daycare, so when I this afternoon when she comes home, it's gonna be all over the place. A little bit gentle, and I'm using an elastic band, and I'm going to respritz again just to make it easier when I'm brushing. <laughs> you like that? But sometimes this can hurt, so you just want to be really, really gentle. Okay, so I've brushed the front of her hair, and now I'm just going to go ahead and get the back. The back usually is harder for me to brush because her hair is a little bit more coarse back here. But you also want to get a soft, broad, bristle brush so that when you are brushing it, you're not breaking off the hair. Um, because this hairstyle can be damaging if you are not um, doing it correctly if you're using the wrong type of brush that will break off the, your baby's hair and if you are doing this hairstyle too tight so as you can see I've ga gathered into the puff and I'm only gonna twist it around two times I'm not gonna twist it tight what? Okay, so I'm twisting it around three times, and on the third time, I'm going to bring it to the top of the twist and not necessarily the bottom. Now, take your time getting the hair through the ponytail because you want to get it all through because if you don't, it will tangle when you try to take it out later. So, I'm just bringing it up just a little bit so that it's not, it's not tight. And I'm just fluffing it out with my hands. And that is it. So that's how I like to do a high puff. So I'm going to show them how your hair looks. Ooh, show your hair. Ooh. Okay, so this is how it all looks. 
And like I said, this is my favorite hairstyle to do when her hair is not in ponytails and her hair is not in braids. This will, I, sometimes I'll do this for about a week or two just to let the hair do its own thing. Just to make sure it's um, staying moisturized. Okay, so she wants me to be quiet, so we gotta go. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. Say bye. Say bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>